So after the draw for the African Cup of Nations qualifiers was held, uh, we got a letter from CAF indicating that Ghana could be playing its matches on a neutral venue. The Babayarat Sports Stadium, which was giving a one-time license uh, to host the Ghana vs Nigeria game, had been revoked. The license, uh, that is, it had been removed from the list of approved stadiums for the game that Ghana could possibly be taking part in in the African Cup of Nations qualifiers come June. And the qualifiers will start from May 30th to June 14th. That's for March day one. And two, we'll look at what the FA needs to do to get ready for those games and why the Babaira Sports Stadium was not settled on or was not approved for further games for the Ghana Black Stars. As usual, subscribe if you have not. I click on the notification bell to get more updates. After the Babaira Sports Stadium was given a one-time approval for the game between Ghana and Nigeria, it has been revoked. It has had its license that is revoked. There are no Category A games can be played at the Babaira Sports Stadium. In a letter given to Ghana Football Association by the Confederation of African Football, games at the Babaira Sports Stadium before they can be played need to have the stadium undergo an extreme makeover. That's according to the Confederation of African Football. CAF has removed Babayara Sports Stadium from the list of approved stadium for senior category A games. Now, before the game versus Nigeria, Babayara had to go through a lot of things. A face lift, that is. It had to do the dressing room, the media stand, the distance between the bench and the pitch all a lot of things were stated i think eight conditions also and i had an issue personally with the media stand which i felt was not up to the standard uh, which we had been used to especially after the african cup of nations the accra sports stadium media stand is even better and the cape coast sports stadium as well but for the babaira sports stadium which was granted a one-time license uh, some things were not put in order and in this letter have presented to the Ghana Football Association. It stated emphatically that it had been removed from approved stadium. And this was contained, according to the GFA, in a letter signed by CAP Development Officer Raul Chependa and addressed to the General Secretary of the GFA. He says, following the one match approval given by CAP for the Bayra Sports Stadium in the FIFA World Cup qualifier game playoff round matches under the condition that specific points were to be corrected in the stadium based on reports received from CAF inspector that was on site. We regret to inform you that the improvements made are still not up to the standard required by CAF to host senior international A matches. Unfortunately, the level of implementation of all the CAF remarks in the stadium were not satisfactory including the quality of the equipment and materials used in the different functional areas in the stadium. As a result of the reported situation, uh, we have taken uh, the following decision. Formal prohibition to, is made to use the Barbara Sports Stadium in all cup for FIFA International A matches. The stadium is automatically removed from the list of approved stadiums and uh, will only be approved for any subsequent FIFA or CAF international senior team matches and CAF men's inter-club competitions following the implementation of all the CAF remarks which were given in that very first letter before it was given a one-time license for the Nigeria Super Eagles game. And now for guidance, attached CAF stadium requirements is a comprehensive document that includes the needs of a stadium and sets out the minimum requirements to fulfill in order for a stadium to be homologated uh, by CAF. Once again, we emphasize that quality stadiums are fundamental for the development and progress of African football. Hence, the regulations and its requirements, compliance will be implemented strictly by CAF. We nevertheless encourage you to initiate the renovation program and acquisition of all the stadium equipment in accordance to the CAF remarks the letter read. Copies have been sent to the Ministry of Youth and Sports and others. And it gets me wondering what job was done during that renovation over a year plus at the Babayara Sports Stadium. 
what sort of ad hoc innovations was also done when CAF instructed the Ghana Football Association and the Ministry of Heath and Sports to upgrade the stadium ahead of the game versus Nigeria. It begs a lot of questions here. It looks like if this is not done, I do not know whether a Cape Coast or Accra Sports Stadium can still be used. It comes into contention here for the upcoming games. It's uh, just 50 days plus away. I think in two months or so, we'll have to go again versus our group members in the qualifiers madagascar central Afri african republic and angola we'll have to square up with them what are the home games will be in ghana here looking at the situation now it cannot be in Kumasi. it begs a lot of questions as to how we are handling our infrastructure in sports Kaf have stated the sports infrastructure are so so important to the development of the sport in the country we do not develop infrastructure we are not a big on maintenance culture and that is what has brought us all here hopefully uh, the ministry of Heath and sports and the ghana football association heed these warnings and get things back in shape ahead of the games in two months time however uh, ghana football association have released a statement saying that they have met uh, with the ministry of Heath and sports and this follows the decision of CAF to revoke a one match provisional license that was issued to the babayara sports stadium uh, for the nigeria game after several appeals by the ghana football association and inspections CAF issued a conditional license uh, we are at a very crucial stage as this issue keeps coming back the last thing we want is to allow CAF to determine where we'll play our home matches the gfa general secretary said the Babayaras is, is one historic stadium where the various national teams have chalked incredible success in our football history and so we cannot afford to allow this to happen to us we are having thorough discussions with the nsa with the ministry of youth and sports uh, providing excellent leadership in it to ensure that various conditions are met as quickly as we can. The game against Nigeria was huge, a huge success. It chucked a lot of attendance. Why cannot invest that money back into improving this Babaira Sports Stadium? The media stand is where my problem is. The media stand in the conference room, which had a lot of issues, especially when we were having the pre-match press conference. Since then, there has been a face slip to that media stand. You can see during the Kotoko versus Hearts game, but a lot of work needs to be done. Hopefully, it is done in time uh, before the game versus either Madagascar, Angola, or any one of these three countries, uh, Central Africa Republic, which will be play. Uh, they are working together. Hopefully, they do the right thing. They get the right materials and improve the stadium so it is accepted. The stadium is not just about the pitch, as you can clearly see. The Papaya Sports Stadium has the best pitch right now in Ghana. But that was not enough to have it approved by CAF. It needs work to be done on, else Ghana could be playing our home matches away from home. Far from home. And the fans might not be there to support the Ghana national team adequately if that happens. And then reducing our chances of winning games in the qualifiers hope this thing come through and we hope everything is sorted out let me know your thoughts in the comments box on everything i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day enjoy the rest of the week